Hello, folks, and welcome to GED Microlearning, where we help you pass your GED math. So in today's episode of GED Hacks, we're going to talk about fractions on a number line. But before we do that, let's remind ourselves a little bit about what fractions are, and then we'll talk about uh, number lines. Okay, so a fraction is basically a portion or a piece. Okay, so imagine that this is a, a piece of a pie, for example, and you only had one piece, right? So how would you express that as a fraction? It, you would say it's one over one. Or here, let's say you have a, uh, you know, a pie that is cut in half. Um, if you wanted to express how many blue pieces you had in this pie, you would say it's one over two, right? One of the two pieces is blue. And in this case, it would be one over three, right? Out of the three slices of this pie, one of them is blue. Okay. Uh, remember that fractions, that top number is called the numerator and the bottom number is called a denominator. All right, so we're going to change gears for a second and now talk about number lines. So remember that number lines look a little bit like this. You have sometimes a zero in the middle and you might have numbers to the left, which are going to be negative, and numbers to the right that might be positive. And within each of these segments, you can have more segments, right? So between zero and one, uh, you could actually have several um, kind of seg intermediate uh, segments, let's say. Okay, from zero to one. Okay, so now let's uh, apply what we just learned about fractions um, on a number line. So let's say that they tell you this. They ask you, Jake ran one third of the race. Where is that on a number line? And they give you a number line like this. So what are you supposed to do with this information? Well, remember um, our pi, uh, one over three. And remember that we said that the bottom number was a denominator. OK, so what this number is telling you is how uh, how long, let's say, is the number line. OK, so we said it starts at zero on the left and it goes to one. So one can also be expressed as one over one, two over two, three over three, four over four, five over five, etc. In this case, because they're telling us the denominator is three, right, one third, we know that that value for one is going to be three over three. OK, and that means that your zero value is actually going to be zero over three. OK, so then the next segment is going to be one over three, one third and the following two thirds. OK, so if they tell us that Jake ran one third of the race and where is that under the number line, the correct position would be there. OK, so let's do another word problem. So uh, they're telling us that there's one mile between school, which is going to be uh, 0 0.0, and work, which is going to be 0 0.1. And if Mary's house is located between these two points, um, if she is 5 sixth of a mile from school, where is she on the number line? OK, so we know that the school is in 0 0.0, work is in 0 0.1, and she's 5 sixth from um, Point one. Um, once again, we're going to look at our denominator. That tells us uh, the value of this kind of whole number line. So uh, the value for 1 is going to be 6 over 6. OK. And the value for 0 is going to be 0 over 6. So now it's very easy because the first segment is going to be 1 over 6, 2 over 6, 3 over 6, 4 over 6, 5 over 6 and 6 over 6. So if she is 5 sixths from school, that's where she's at. OK, so here the take home message, uh, folks, is to remember to look at the denominator, OK, because that denominator on that fraction is telling you what the value of 1 is. OK, so remember from the first slide, we said that 1 could be uh, 1 over 1, 2 over 2, 3 over 3, 4 over 4, 5 over 5, or as in this case, 6 over 6. OK, it's still 1. OK, let's do a final uh, problem. So it says Sarah is organizing a bake sale and plans to display the baked goods on sale. On the table, she wants to put three types of cakes, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. And she's going to use a number line to organize the cakes from left to right. The left uh, most is going to be chocolate and the rightmost is going to be strawberry. She wants to position the vanilla at three fifths of the total distance between the chocolate and strawberry. 
Okay, so we have our number line here. So the one furthest to the left is going to be chocolate. Okay, so that's where the zero is at. And then the rightmost is going to be the strawberry. Okay, so that's going to be where the one is. And they're telling us, um, they're talking to about us about three-fifths, okay? So again, that's telling you that the value of one is what? Five over five, exactly, because if you look at the denominator, it's uh, three over five, okay? Five being the denominator. So we know that that value of one is five over five. So our value of zero is going to be zero over five. And now it's very easy. The first segment is going to be 1 over 5, second segment 2 over 5, 3 over 5, 4 over 5, and 5 over 5. Okay, so where is 3 fifths? It's right there. Okay, so that's where the vanilla cake is going to be placed. Okay, folks, so that is it for today. Thank you so much for your time and for watching. Hope you found that useful. If you did, please give us a like, subscribe, share with your friends. And as always, folks, have a great rest of your day.